So much of keyword research content out there focuses on just that, the research. But once you have a long list of keywords you want your site to rank for, what do you do with it? How do you decide which keywords you should use in the various pages of your website? And what content should you include in those pages? The answer to these questions has a lot to do with keyword search intent. In this video, I'll first define what search intent is and how you can use it to pick keywords for the various pages of your website. In the end, I will also share my trick for figuring out the right type of content you should create for each page, the type that your customers and also Google will love. If you conducted keyword research using SEMrush, you probably ended up with a list that looks something like this. Here, I am pretending to be a marketing manager working for pet website Chewy.com. Using the keyword magic tool, I discovered that hundreds of thousands of people seem to be searching for food for dogs with a sensitive stomach. I want Chewy.com to rank for these keywords, so I need a strategy to implement these on relevant pages. This process, by the way, is what's widely known as on-page SEO. On-page SEO consists of making sure your pages are relevant and useful enough to rank for their target keywords. And whether or not a page is relevant has a lot to do with search intent. So let me show you what I mean. If you Google homemade dog food sensitive stomach, you're probably trying to get information about how to make this type of food at home. This keyword has informational intent. Informational search intent basically means that the user User wants to learn something. These searches are often phrased as questions and use words like who, what, where, why, and how. Bruce Willis movies, what is SEO, California time now, and how to clean a dishwasher are all keywords with informational intent. Homemade dog food sensitive stomach is a keyword with informational intent as well. If I want Chewy to rank for this keyword, I need to find or create a page on Chewy.com that fits this specific intent. Then I need to add this keyword to that page. What does that mean exactly? If you want a page to rank for a certain keyword, Google recommends that you use that keyword on the page itself. One of the most important places to add a keyword is on your page's meta title. You can see the meta title for any page on the internet when you hover over the tab on your browser or when you see that page on the SERP. Yes, all the blue links on the SERP here are the meta titles for each of these pages, and they should all contain the keyword that page is trying to rank for. Now, I'm not gonna go deeper into on-page SEO in this video, but if you wanna learn more about this topic, I highly recommend Kyle Byer's course on SEO principles. I linked it below. Okay, back to keyword intent. If I am trying to have Chewy.com rank for homemade dog food sensitive stomach, a product page like this one is not gonna cut it since the searcher is not looking to actually buy dog food, they wanna make it at home. You'll probably want to create a blog post with various at home dog food recipes. Blog posts are actually the number one content type for informational queries. It's true that Chewy is unlikely to sell any dog food from this post, but a solid helpful blog blog posts can provide useful information that helps build trust in your brand. People might actually realize that making dog food at home is super hard and end up buying from Chewy's instead. This, by the way, is the essence of content marketing. Okay, back to our list of keywords. We have several branded keywords in here. Hills dog food for sensitive stomach and Purina dog food for sensitive stomach. SEMrush tells us that these are both informational, and transactional keywords. Transactional search intent means that users want to do something specific when they're searching. Despite what the name implies, this isn't restricted to just purchases. For example, a user doing a transactional search might want to complete a newsletter signup or download software. iPhone 13 Pro Max price, personality test online, SEMrush trial and watch friends in Spanish are all transactional keywords. Transactional keywords are actually kind of your money makers. So for this reason, the search results for transactional keywords are often product pages with a big, bold buy now button. Now let's go back to our target keyword list. Hills dog food for sensitive stomach. This keyword is both informational and transactional, which is why Chewy.com is trying to target it with this product page. See how the keyword is included in the page's meta title. It looks like they're also trying to target keywords around sensitive skin. Interesting. Those have a nice search volume as well. Okay, the third type of search intent is commercial. Commercial search intent includes keywords your audience uses when they're doing their research 
before an actual purchase. Commercial intent lies somewhere between informational and transactional intent. The user is looking for information, but the information is very closely connected to an action. Best indoor plants for low light, Apple Watch Ultra reviews, MailChimp alternatives, and HBO Max versus Netflix are all examples of keywords with commercial intent. The search results for commercial queries often include third-party pages with independent reviews of the products. That's why it can be very hard or even impossible to rank for some commercial keywords relevant to your brand. But you can try. In Chewy's case, a great example of a keyword with commercial intent is best dog food for sensitive stomach. In order to target this keyword, the Chewy marketing team created a blog post on the topic where they stack rank various brands. Dog Food Advisor has the number one spot in the SERP for this keyword, but it's worth a try on Chewy's part. Finally, the last type of keyword intent is navigational. Navigational intent means that the user wants to find a specific page. Unlike with other intent types, searchers already know exactly what they're trying to find. Starbucks, Gmail login, SEMrush keyword magic tool, and IKEA refund policy are all examples of navigational keywords. As you can see, navigational keywords are often branded. They're all about ensuring that your target audience can find your pages easily when they need to find them. So back to the Chewy example. Chewy sensitive stomach dog food is a navigational keyword. It's also transactional, by the way. Chewy is targeting this keyword with a category page that contains all the different types of dog food they sell for dogs with sensitive stomachs. Okay, so those are the four types of search intent. Informational, transactional, commercial, and navigational. When you're deciding which page on your website should target which keyword, it's important that you match the search intent with the content on the page, just like we did with the Chewy.com example. We matched this informational keyword with a blog post, this transactional keyword with a product page, this commercial keyword with another blog post, and this navigational keyword with a category page. The intent of the searcher is met with the content on each of these pages. This means that the result is relevant, which means that we have a higher chance of Google ranking it higher. And higher rankings is what we all want, all day, every day. Now, as promised, my trick. SEMrush shares intent for every keyword, but sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out what type of content to create for a specific keyword. So here's what I do. I use the keyword overview tool to see what sites are currently ranking for any given keyword. Are they blog posts? Are they product pages? Are they review sites? This will give you and me a strong sense of the type of content you should create to target this keyword and be competitive on the SERP. Remember, Google's ultimate goal is to answer searchers' queries as efficiently as possible. So if your content answers a keyword search intent, you are more likely to rank for that keyword. That's all for now. Have any questions about keyword intent? Drop them in the comments below and we will do our best to respond. Hasta pronto.